and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over how to prepare for the Blitz promo. Now, if you guys don't already know, it is November 25th. The Blitz promo usually drops the night of Thanksgiving. Now, if I remember correctly, Thanksgiving is the 28th, which is in three days. So, the night of Thanksgiving, typically around midnight, is when the Blitz promo kicks off. Could it kick off at 8 p.m.? I do not know, guys. They have changed quite a few things this year, such as special streams, timing, content drop so could they switch it a little bit maybe but as of now until we get confirmation the blitz promo usually kicks off black friday night which is thanksgiving night at 12 midnight so stay tuned for that now that isn't within three days so you guys want to be getting all the last minute things you need to do done before that starts to prepare for this now i'm gonna give you guys all the recap of what the blitz entails what comes with the blitz what to expect and what things you want to get done now before things rise in price for such things now the blitz promo is many things to start with it's probably the biggest money grab in madden history at least it's up there the blitz promo is a massive money grab like i told you guys before sometimes just to do one of the final sets it costs like 250 dollars so i'm gonna go over what you can do as a money spender and a no money spender because obviously last year i was no money spent as i am most likely this year minus my first week's pack openings i have not spent any money on packs since minus the level of packs so i understand what it's going to feel like to do this as a no money spent guy but as a money spend i don't plan you guys spend money so i'm going to go over both aspects of how you can go over the splits and how you can attack the splits obviously there's multiple ways to look at them to go over everything in it so stay tuned for, to the end of the video to watch all of that now guys before we get into the video make sure to down below hit that subscribe button turn that notify boys we're so close to 13k i think we're like 400 subscribers away so everyone if you're new to the channel come join Let's keep growing. The goal by Christmas is about 16K, so let's see if we can get that done. And if you guys haven't already, smash that like button, guys. Can we get this Prepare for Blitz video up to 300 likes? Let's see if you guys can handle that. You guys have gone crazy. All the loyal supporters, I see you guys every day coming out to every video. I appreciate each and every one of you. And that's about it. So comment down below if you guys have any more feedback on the Blitz that I might miss. I think I'm going to cover everything, So, but if you guys have anything, comment down below. Let me know. Get feedback for the community. If you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter directly if you have any questions regarding the Blitz. So let's get into this video. So at midnight when the Blitz first drops, the first place you want to go to is the store. So the Blitz comes with some very cool features. First, is going to be a bundle. There's going to be a Blitz bundle that's going to give you tokens, keys, whatever they do this year. Typically, they do like keys and the tokens that you get or the CDs you get are used for the final master set. But the CDs is more of the money spend aspect, in my opinion. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to drop a bundle. There's going to be Blitz packs. You can get Blitz players in. You can get Blitz keys in. And you can get players in. Now, that bundle is going to be for the money spenders. Now, there's also going to probably be a global limit at 12 midnight. So, what a global limit pack is, is pretty much whenever there's a blitz, every few hours, which last year I think the intervals were eight, were 8 hours. So, there was one at like 8 in the morning, one at 4 p.m., and then one at 12 midnight. So, the initial one's going to start at 12 midnight, most likely. So, at midnight, the first thing you want to do, like literally waiting until midnight, is go to the store because there's going to be a global limit pack. A global limit pack means there's a limit on how many people can buy this pack, and it's typically a very profitable and awesome pack. So, last year they dropped a platinum player pack. Now, a Platinum Player Pack, guys, is a crazy pack. Now, I don't know if they're going to decrease the odds this time, but last year, there was like 10,000 in the world. And if you guys know, there's a lot more than 10,000 people playing. And more than likely, I was able to buy five. So imagine that if everyone bought five, there would have only been able to be about 2,000 people in the world who got this pack. I bought five because I was ready for it. Now, the Platinum Player Pack, if they do drop that as the first option, it pretty much gives you guaranteed coin quick sell players. Now, coin quick sell players are the players that have quick sell values based on their overalls so last year i opened up five right away don't even open your pack open it back out open it back out get as many as you can and open them afterwards because if you do wait you're not going to get all of them because i promise you it'll go 10,000, 5,000, 1,000, 0. it goes that quickly like if you you might not even get one that's how depending on your internet because people when this drops everyone's on the game the server starts to crash. I remember last year I was so pissed. I couldn't even do one of the offers because the servers were crashing. People couldn't even get into ultimate team because everyone's going to ultimate team at the same time. So you got to be ready for that. Now, if they drop a platinum player pack, you want to open up all five. Last year I pulled Aaron Donald, Von Miller, Jalen Ramsey, um, Justin Tucker. And those are all like 87, 88 overall players. I made 1.2 million coins worth of quick sales. And it only cost me about like 200k to get 1.2. So I made a million coins profit. The next time they did it, it was not as profitable. I feel like they nerfed it a little bit, but you guys want to be ready. Now, they drop other things. Like they'll drop a heavyweight pack. A heavyweight pack for 1,500 training, let's say. Now, why is that profitable? Because most likely any heavyweight you pull at this point out of one of those heavyweight packs is going to be more than that. Or they'll do like a flashback pack where it's 1,000 training and you can get up to five of them. And every flashback player goes for more than 1,000 training that they're gonna. that's 88 plus. So, you're pretty much guaranteed profit. Now, the issue is that they're global limits, so you might not be able to get all of them. Now, some of them won't be global limits, but the ones that aren't global limits typically aren't that great. It'll be like... 
it'll be like a, tra a training a training pack let's say and this training pack contains anywhere from 2,000 to 6,000 training and it costs you 2,500 training now that may not be global limit but you can re-roll your training and potentially pull a lot more they do a lot of cool things like that or they'll do maybe a legend fantasy pack for 2,500 training now obviously if you if you check out the training values that probably doesn't cost as much as the fantasy pack could it possibly but i don't think it does it'll be cheaper than one so you do get a discounted legend fantasy pack so what i could say for, as far as preparing for the split you're gonna want to get training now last year during the blitz promo they did not use training but that was the first blitz promo of the year after that they started using blitz every every few months they do a blitz so after that every blitz had training as one of the um, currencies you can use for this so i'm just letting you guys know you might want to have training on deck because after that a lot of the things were training and what sucks is this right let's say midnight drops and they drop a platinum player pack and it goes for training okay so you're gonna run over real quick and go get training by the time you get training there's two things that could happen first things first you go to get the training and you go get it you sell it, you come back the global limit zero you missed it that's it it's too late you literally have about 30 seconds at max and that's that's on the long side to get all the things you need so that that could that could happen first off you just run out of the global limit and you missed it second thing you think you're the only one going to get training training goes from maybe let's say it's 220k for a 92 overall when the blitz drops you might get to the store and the training goes for 300k things go up that quickly so there's two things you can do first off stock up on training for multiple reasons if you stock up on training and blitz does use training you're gonna make tons of coins on selling back training so maybe you don't want to participate in the blitz but pick up a lot of players right now that are cheap training and then when the blitz drops if there is training and worst case scenario there isn't right and if there isn't training you sell these players back for the normal price and you make back your coins no big deal but if there is training just like how i make money on the christmas promo by selling training you get these cards for 220. if they drop a pack worth training training is going to skyrocket so when the training skyrockets let's say you got let's say uh randall cunningham let's just say right or like ed two tall jones goes for 220k when they drop a limit pack or even just a regular training pack Training's gonna go from 220k to possibly 300k. So now you're making 80k per sell. So if you bought like five of them and you sell them, you can make like 300, 400k off selling them back. During the Christmas promo, I did a similar thing with Snow Currency, and which was pretty much training, but with their currency for the time being. I bought a bunch of Sam Darnolds for 220k. They dropped a global limit pack for Snow Training, or they dropped the present packs. Sam Darnold went to 350k. And guys, it's this quick. I promise you, when it comes to global limits and like limit packs. People are so quick that the training skyrockets and you go sell them quickly. And maybe the thing's done already, but people don't know. They're just buying training. So they end up buying your card and then the thing will go away and then training comes right back down. In like a day or two, it'll come back down to 220. And if they drop another one, it goes right back up. So you want to follow that trend of buying and selling, buying and selling right before everything happens. So I'd recommend you pick up some training now. Like I said, worst case scenario, like literally the worst case scenario is that you have to sell them back for about 230. You wait overnight and you only lose like 10K. And that's worst case scenario. Best case scenario, you make half a million coins. Just one thing to recommend, especially because the Blitz is fun. So you guys do want to partake in what Blitz has to offer. Now, as far as training goes, I don't know the best training value right now. But I know 92s are probably one of the better ones. You get about 9,600 or something like that or 9,400 for about 220K, which is not bad. Maybe you could, maybe you want to wait and snipe them out, sit on the auction block, maybe get them for 205. So then at worst case scenario, you can't even lose. You could just sell them back for 225 like a week later and then you make all your coins back anyways after the reduction. Next, as far as the Blitz goes, there's going to be sets with token keys and stuff. Now, as far as keys go, most of the time to get them, you have to open packs. Now, Blitz usually allows no money spend players to get at least one player. They're going to drop solo challenges that are hour on the hour. So you guys want to be ready for that because if you play every hour, every four hours, I think it's typically four hour interval solo challenges. So there'll be one at 8 a.m., 12 a, uh, I think 12 p.m., like 3, 4 p.m., 8 p.m 12 p.m there's gonna be like a bunch of solos every four hours they're gonna be riddled so make sure to subscribe to the channel so you guys are ready i will have all the riddles out for you as, as well as much as i can do during that time there's gonna be riddles every few hours going over every solo challenge and there's gonna be probably code breakers and to get all these done if you get all these done you typically get like three to four keys per solo if you do these for three days and there's like 12 to 20 keys to get per day you could end up with like about 80 to 100 keys now last year i got about 80 to 100 keys and i used it for blitz tyree kill because there's gonna be sets now the sets are going to be timed so every few every like eight hours you're going to drop a brand new blitz player you're going to know all of them though they're going to say all of them on the screen and it's going to be like this one unlocks at this time to this time they're going to all be limited to times so if you want to get those players like let's say tyreek hill last year i think he was like day three he was one of the oh, day two he was one of the last ones that they actually dropped at late at night so what i did was i played all the solo challenges now if you don't play all the hourly solo challenges you're probably not going to get enough keys to actually get one of these players so you could settle for a lesser player like last year they had like ryan ramzik or oh no it was a uh, Teron Armstead he was one of the guys you could get if I'm saying his name right so he's one of the guys that like if you didn't have enough keys you can go for him 
or also they also have another set of blitz uh, keys that you can use for like NF like legend fantasy packs gridiron packs so if you really don't get a lot of them done you can use whatever remaining keys you have for packs but i like to save them for one of the big players so that's for no money spent guys no money spent guys i think your best option is to stack up on training uh flip the training for a ton of coins and then also save up enough keys to get one player now you money spend guys there's going to be limited time bundles that they drop for keys now these bundles will give you like 70 keys straight up plus packs that have more keys and now as far as completing the master set guys this is for you money spend guys the master set's going to be really hard to complete only money spenders can do this i think last year the master set maybe might have cost like 300 actually to 400 dollars. pretty much the way it works is when you use your keys to get players it's like how the like the Michael Irvin set, right? You put the four players in, you get Michael Irvin as power up, and you get the Nat cards back. But instead of getting Nat cards back, when you complete a set with the sets for keys, you get back tokens. So you pretty much convert keys for tokens. So let's say the ratio this year is one to four. So if you put 100 keys in for Tyree Kill, you get back Tyree Kill and you get back 25 CDs. So CDs are pretty much what you use for the master set. So the master set for Michael Irvin might, or like, let's say Night Train Lane like it was last year, or Deion Sanders, it'll be, you need 100 CDs to get Deion Sanders. Now you can't buy these 100 CDs. You have to get them by converting to, uh, keys. Now to get keys, you either have to play and they're only gonna give you about 100 keys. So realistically with 100 keys, you're gonna get back 25 uh, CDs. So for no money spent guys, it's gonna be almost impossible to complete the master set. Just letting you guys know now. Don't wish to be blunt, but no money spent guys, they're only gonna give you enough keys to get that. Now to get keys, otherwise you have to open packs. There's no other way. So pretty much, let's say last year, it was 400 keys to convert back to 100 CDs and 100 CDs did the set. So pretty much after the 25 no money spent keys you can get or CDs you're going to get, you're going to need about another 300 tokens or what should I say, 300 keys to get back 75 more CDs. So pretty much to do that, you're going to have to buy packs. So I think the conversion rate was about, you got about 80 keys per $100 bundles. You needed about $350 worth of bundles to get back about 100 CDs. Now, if you're no money spent and you get the stuff first and then you open packs, you probably do it for around $250 to $300. I don't personally recommend doing it. But for you money spent guys, you're going to open packs anyways. That's what you want to be looking out for. It's going to cost you a little over 300 most likely. Could they change the format this year? Yeah, it's possible they change the format. But from what I've seen in years past, it's pretty much the same thing. No money spent guys get one free player by saving up their keys or packs. And the other guys that spend money get the master set done. Now, I wouldn't recommend you just open up one or two bundles and stop, guys. It's pretty much this. I either open no bundles or I open all the bundles. Because think about it. You open up one $100 bundle. These bundles aren't great for pulling players. It's like a, it's a, it's a seasonal type promo where it's like the harvest packs right why are you opening up harvest players you're not opening up for a good harvest pool more than likely you're not going to get it you're opening up to get the collectible items and the harvest players to build the players to compete in the promo so blitz is like that if you open up two bundles you're not going to get anything great you should get a lot of uh, keys and now you're going to want to use these keys for the master and if you're not going to use it for the master why open up bundles so in my opinion either you go all in or you don't go in at all i probably won't go all in i'll probably go not in at all i'll probably get my free cards my free keys have fun with it make videos for you guys that's about it I don't really anticipate spending $400 on the Blitz promo. I don't think, I think that's a waste of money for me personally, especially since I like to put it all back into my channel and other ways such as equipment and being ready for you guys more so than getting cards when I have a pretty great team as it is. But that's all on you guys, what you plan to do. So to recap what you guys want to be doing, stay vigilant, be ready for solo challenges. Every, every few hours on the hour, you will know the timing when the time gets closer and they do a stream regarding it. Be ready for the packs. If you miss the solos, it's whatever. If you don't want to get the keys, it's fine. But be ready and also the global limit pack should also cost currency it could be like like last year was pretty cool it was like 20 dollars for a fire fantasy pack if you guys know fire fantasy packs are probably the best pack in madden history or at least one of the best ever since cornucopias were nerfed so if you want to get a fire fantasy pack it might be like 15 20 dollars for a fire fantasy now that might sound like a lot of money but for a fire fantasy pack you definitely get your return on investment especially in regards to buying packs so it could be the first one at midnight of currency pack Whatever, if all you know money spent, guys, you have to just wait. Now, they might drop another one at like 8 a.m., and that could be the Platinum Player Pack, which would be training. So, it'll probably alternate between training and money. Now, the issue with this promo is there's no currency, like there's no there's no Thanksgiving currency, so we don't have, we can't expect that. But for the Christmas promo when there was Blitz, there was Blitz with snow currency, Blitz with money, and Blitz with training. That's when things were awesome, because the snow currency was great, because like I said, I bought Darnold's for 220, which is the same thing as the training, just with snow currency. I bought them for 220, and I was inevitably able to flip them every time they'd be like oh platinum players for snow currency darnell went up to 350 sold them all made like 150k per then the next morning that the pack went away everything was gone the next drop was like training people were like oh let's go back training now training went up snow currency went back down i bought back a bunch of sam darnold's then at midnight that day up oh, another another global limit with snow training 
The one went right back up to 350. That is how I made I made literally 10 million coins off the Christmas promo, off flipping snow currency, flipping training, and opening up the present packs. So I think the Christmas promo will probably be the best profitable blitz promo. This blitz is more of a money grab, but you still can make tons of coins if they do do training this time around. If they end up doing all currency, that'll be a bummer. But I recommend you just have the training on hand. Worst case scenario, you either use the training or you sell it back and you barely lose any coins. But guys, it is about it for the video. This was kind of long. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, come join the family. Comment down below if you guys have any more questions regarding the Blitz. Hit me up on Twitter. Comment down below. If you guys haven't already, smash that like button. Can we get 300 likes in this video? Or your lowest supporters, if you made it this far in the video, smash that like button. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.